that I use to cut my hair and add layers to it here at home. To begin, I untangle my hair and put it into a really high ponytail right on top of my head so that the hair falls right in front of my face. Now, your hair doesn't necessarily have to be wet for you to cut it, but I suppose you can damp it down if you'd like. I don't do any of that. To shorten the length of my hair, I use my face features such as my chin, mouth, and nose as a guide. Keep in mind you don't want to cut straight across because this makes your hair prone to split ends. Instead, you want to cut vertically. Be careful with your fingers though. Yes, depending on how much practice you have and how sharp your blade is, this can take quite some time and be a bit tiring. But I really like the end result. It looks softer and much more texturized. Now hold your hair up to where you want to stop cutting and begin. Now if you have really long hair or is your first time cutting your hair in this method, I suggest you begin at your chin. Lay your hair down and check if you like it. If you do, move on, but if you don't, Put it up once more, move a little higher, and repeat the process. Take your time. Remember, you can always cut more, but once you've cut too much, there's no way of fixing that anytime soon. You'll just have to wait until it grows back. So take your time. Feel free to just cut the split ends or cut shorter, cut at a medium length. It's totally up to you and with what you feel the most comfortable with. Once you've reached your desired length, you're done! Now let's continue on to the layers, but if you skipped over, hey, welcome! Let's begin! Now that we have the hair length that we like and we wish to keep, let's add the layers! I'll be showing you how to add two sets of layers today. To do this, part your hair at a half ponytail. Tie the top part right above your head and the bottom and the back so that it is out of the way. We will not be cutting this part anymore. Now bring the hair forward and cut a little bit higher so that it is shorter than the bottom half of your hair. You can also use your thinning shears to add some texture to it. Once you are done, let it down. Now from the top part, take a smaller section. Tie it up, bring it forward, and cut it even shorter than the last. And that will give you two sets of layers. But if you're feeling a little daring, you can continue on this process, sectioning even smaller pieces of hair, cutting each shorter than the last, as many times as you wish, depending on how many sets of layers you want to have. Take your time, and once it's how you like it, you're done! Maybe when I'm brave enough, I'll cut all my hair as short as my shortest layer is now. Here I show you how the end result of my hair length and all the layers I added look like using this method. Unfortunately, that is it for today. I hope this video was helpful. Always feel free and welcome to leave any comments and suggestions on what you would like to see on my next video. And as always, if you liked it, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you enjoy watching and like what I do, please take a moment to subscribe and stay tuned. Until next time, bye!